So we are back from the car boot and it's the first car boot of the year, which was, well, looking at the stock we got, I'm so glad to be back in the car boots. Hopefully this year, we may be able to go for a few more than we did last year. Cause I think last year we only went to like 15 car boots in the whole year, which is, which is ridiculous. So hopefully this year we can go to a bit more and just get out in the field and have a little butchers. Without further ado guys, let's get into the haul. Smash that like button and let's get a cracker lacking. So yeah, this is the first item we picked up, this Bauer X40 armor plate, chest thing, shoulder pads. It's got a lot of pads. It fits me quite well, considering it's an extra large. Ugh, big boy, you know what I'm saying? However, paid two pound and 50p for a Bauer armor plate, which is absolutely ridiculous really nice condition should be looking at a comfortable 40 pound which is really nice from two pound and 50 pence we then picked up some more bower stuff we picked up these absolutely beasts bower shin pads leg pads really nice condition hardly any wear at all nice black red and gray size 15 inches which is about 38 centimeters Really nice condition. These are the Supreme Power SG 3000s, and I've got these listed for £30, and I think I've actually already got a watcher. So that's really nice. £2.50 into £30. We'll take that all day long. These were, in fact, the last pickup of the day. These are a pair of Solomon walking sandals. I've got these listed for £35. These are contour grip, which is nice. Waterproof as well, well to a point obviously because they're a sandal but they're uk size 10 these were actually the last items we did pick up and they only were what was it like a pound a pound for solomon walking sandals we'll definitely be taking that all day flipping long should get a comfortable 30 i've listed them up for 35 i'll take offers around the 30 pound mark but yeah really happy with these for sure we then picked up this well Star Wars D slash O RC remote control, brand new in its box, probably paid up a bit for it. I think I paid five pound. And looking at solds and completed, they're only actually going for about 20. But hey, it's still you still four times in your money before postage and fees and tax and all that. So it's not too bad. I'd like to probably do a little bit better than that. However, you take what you can. RC D O Star Wars 5 into 20 pound. It's better than a kick in the teeth. We then picked up these Nike Flyknit Mocha Mocks. I call them Mocks. Mocassians, Mocossians, whatever. Should we call it? Should we call it something different? We're going to call it the Flyknit Mocks. I don't know how to pronounce the word, but these are really nice condition. Just need a quick wash. They are a UK size three. So Brum, if you are watching, then uh, hit me up. I've got a pair of really nice green trainers for you. I'll wash them up for you, mate. Don't worry about that. UK size three Flyknit Vapor Maxes. Should be looking at a comfortable 25 to 30 pound. And believe it or not, I only paid two pound for these. People sort of tend to stay away from the, the sort of size three, fours and fives. However, I like to pick them up because there's still at least 25 pound in these pair. They'll fly out on Depop. Bish, bash, flipping bosh. We then paid two pound for this Lego Dimension wireless portal. I thought it was the Xbox One, but after a little bit more research, it turns out to be the PlayStation 4, which decreases the value. The Xbox One seemed to go for about 40 pound, which is absolutely ridiculous. The PlayStation 3 slash PlayStation 4 only tends to go to 15 pound. But now I know that the Xbox Ones are the more valuable one. You just type in this model code here and it will bring up which one it is. This is unfortunately the PS3 slash PS4 and it's only actually worth about 15 pound. But two into 15, again, is better than nothing, but we don't really want to be picking up items like that. But hey, you win some, you lose some. We then picked up this DSi XL, which I mean, the hinge is broken. We paid like a couple of quid for this. It's not. It's not the be all and end all. It does turn on. However, the, this screen doesn't work. The hinge is broken and it doesn't actually read games. The slot doesn't seem to be taking any games. I've tested it 100 million flipping times. However, only owes me a couple of quid and I still think I can get around the 20 to 25 pound mark with all them faults. I think I've just made that worse. Look at that. Oh my gosh, what have I done? 
But as you can hear, it works. The speakers work, the cameras work. It all works apart from the screen, the cartridge holder and the hinge. So yeah, it doesn't really work at all, does it? We paid three pound for these Under Armour charged football trainer, football, I don't know why I said football, but branded twos, that's what I meant to say. These are actually going for around about the 25 pound mark. I paid three pound. Under Armour trainers are definitely ones to be on the lookout for. Some of them can go for really, really nice money. The actual brand Under Armour is making storms on a day-to-day -day basis. It's sponsoring teams like Liverpool, which helps a lot. There's a lot of teams now wanting to be sponsored by this company. Under Armour did go, well, in my opinion, went sort of like down south a little bit towards the end of like 2010, 2011, 2012. But now it seems to be definitely picking back up and the stuff is worth a lot more money than it used to be. These should go for a nice easy 25 to 30 pound, but I think I will list them based on the size for about the 25 pound mark. Size seven, which it doesn't really matter too much, really. People seem to think and have this impression that size sevens aren't really worth picking up, but you can still sell them. You can sell pretty much any used footwear. It's, it's a massive market and I should be able to get at least 25 pound for these. We then picked up another DS Lite. This one actually does work and it's tested and fully working, which is really, really nice. Have no games or charges. However, I still think I should be able to reach around the £25 mark and I only paid again a £3, I think. So yeah, £3 into £25. Not too shibby shabby indeed. I might buy a unofficial charger and bundle a charger with it and a game maybe push sort of like the 30 to a 35 pound. But as is, three into 25 is definitely not to be sniffed at. Um, DS's have slightly gone downhill since I last bought a load and sold a load. But the three DS's are still worth, definitely worth picking up. So if you ever do find a three DS in the wild, definitely do have a little look at it and definitely pick it up if the price is right. But this, a comfortable £25. We then picked up these. These are nice. These are a pair of Skecher loafers, which in fact, I've sold the black pair literally this week for 27 and 95p, took an offer. So again, these are a nice size. I think these are size nine. Yeah, UK size nine, so really nice size. This is a size you definitely want to be picking up. They're really, really quick sellers. The average sort of bloke is a size nine, which is nice. So when you ever do find a size nine a pair of shoes or trainers, pick them up. These are Skechers, loafers, slip-ons, brown. They should sell for around the £30 mark. Definitely going to put them up for 30 Aim high, you can always come down. We picked up this beautiful Bose system. These are incredibly cheap sometimes and incredibly expensive. I paid £10 for this, which hurts me, you know. From Spalded, £10 on one item at car boot. It's crippling me inside, which is ridiculous, but it's both, it works. It's in really nice condition. It comes with the power, it comes with the remote. I should be looking at a comfortable 40 pound. There's still a high market for these. The sell-through rate for both sound docks is phenomenal. It's like 100, I think it was like 120% last time I checked, which is pretty good. And this should fly out. It should, honestly, like both systems, 10 pound, it's a banger. We then picked up these ASICs. These are the Gel Pivot 2s. These are really, really, really nice condition. Nice white, blue, and black. These are a UK size eight and a half because it's US nine and a half. So normally it's one size below. I might be wrong with that in ASICs. Sometimes, depending if it's a women's brand or a men's brand, sometimes it's two, like it's two sizes lower than the US. So make sure you are aware of that. I think it might be in the women's. So I need to do a little bit more checks to make sure this isn't women's, but I don't think it is. I'm not too sure yet, but anyway, enough waffling on. Paid two pound and I should be looking at around the 20 to 25 pound mark. Really nice condition, nice colors, and yeah, should sell pretty, pretty goddamn fast. Now this is a brand that, that we should all be looking out for, true religion, especially in the jeans and the sort of like all over print hoodies and the all over print jumpers, pullovers, crew necks. These are women's size 27. These are technically leggings, but I'm gonna sell them as jeans and leggings. I'm gonna put both keywords in the title. Uh, size 27, regular, really nice condition. Normally they will have a model number within the tag. However, this one doesn't seem to have it that I can just find just yet. 
Normally it also has it on, on the actual label on the back. Normally it would say like Benji or something, but just need to do a little bit more research. So at this moment in time, I've only put a estimated value of about 25. However, I could, it could be a lot more, it could be a lot less, but a nice three pound into 25. We then moved on and we picked up these beautiful Nike Air Force Ones. Really nice condition, really nice and clean. I can list these straight away. UK size eight or seven and a half. UK seven and a half, so not too bad. Um, really nice condition. Look at the beautiful, look at the shine. Damn, Daniel. Look at them, Nike Air Force Ones. Be beautiful, absolute beauts. Should be a comfortable £30 minimum based on the condition. Plenty of tread left. Nike Air Force Ones, they fly out, absolutely fly to the moon. And that should be easy £30. Now look at the size of these whoppers. These, these are my hoosip. Look at the size of them. They're absolutely flipping massive. These are Nike Air Monarchs or monarchs or whatever if you want to be just normal and boring but today i don't feel like being born in so these are going to be called the nike air monarch the nike air monarch size 12 holy smokes really nice condition just need a wipe plenty of tread look at the size of them i mean i have got a big head and that is that is bigger than my head and that is saying something really nice condition should be looking at based on the size the condition and the model, I should be looking at a nice £30, owes me five, five into 30, really nice bread and butter item. And from the same stall, we picked up these beauts, absolutely beautiful pair of emus. Emu is an Australian brand, arguably sells better, probably not better, but sells for a little bit more money, arguably, don't fire me, shoot nasty messages. These are probably, probably sell for a bit more, then Uggs, in my opinion. Uh, Emo is, Emu, Emo, Emu is another Australian sort of sheepskin fur thingy me bobby company that makes stuff like these. So definitely be on the lookout for EMU. Obviously it comes with the left, left shoe as well, which is always nice, you know. If, if you can sell trainers or footwear in pairs, believe it or not, there's a lot more money to be made. We are now on my favorite item of the day. These is, this is awesome. This is Frasher. Frasher is an awesome, awesome brand to be on the lookout for. Really nice cap. It's got the MLB logo sticker inside the peak. The official genuine merchandise. One size fits all. This should be a comfortable £20. These are selling all day long, brand new for 30 to 35 Obviously, this is used, but in really nice condition. It's a comfortable, conservatively saying, £20. Only paid a 50p or pound. It's an absolute bargain. And then we did a James and bought loads and loads of video games. I don't tend to pick up too many video games anymore. However, there's still a lot of money to be made in video games and James Collects and Jack, them two are probably the best knowledgeable people on this sort of market. However, we picked up a ton of games, which all adds up. They all owe me one pound each, which is absolutely incredible. We have the Peppa Pig video game, cart only. Believe it or not, Peppa Pig cart only is selling for still about £5, which is absolutely flipping bonkers. We have Super Smash Bros disc only, coming for you, Jack. I'm coming for you, big boy. Disc only, Super Smash Bros should be looking at a comfortable £8. We then have Lego Batman, which I believe is a £5 game. We then have Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock, which is about a £5 game as well. We then have Tony Hawk's Underground 2, which is an £8 game. We then have Just Dance 3, which is another £5 game. Remember, all these games owes me a pound, so it does all add up, doesn't it, when you think about it. Guitar Hero World Tour, which is probably the worst game we picked up, but it's still £3.95 to £4.20, so not, uh, not the end of the world. In fact, we can beat that with WK12, that's like a £2 game, so £1 into £2. Definitely doing a James Collect there. <laughs> I love you really, James. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is still a £10 game, which is absolutely flipping bonkers when you think about it. Earth Defense 2017 is a massive collectible series. A lot of people like this, but however, this one is only worth eight, but I think there's some in the series that's worth a lot, lot more. So definitely be on the lookout for Earth Defense Force. 
Believe it or not, this is probably the best pickup of the day, video games wise, apart from the one I'm going to show you right at the end. This is a £15 game, Green Day Rock Band. What an absolute beaut. And then we finish on Harry Potter, Order of the Phoenix, which is only a £5 game. However, there is still one more game, which I'm just going to show you in a second. So this is the last item, not the last item we picked up, but these is is flipping incredible. This is Smackdown vs Raw 2009 Collector's Edition. Owns this, it literally owns us a pound. It comes with a little ring inside. The game is complete with Manuel, and I should be looking at a comfortable 35 to 40 flipping smackaroonies. And that, guys, is the haul. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Let's go through some quick, quick figures. We spent £90 today. And if my maths and calculations are correct, we have just over £604 worth of listings. That's not bad for two hours in the morning. That's £302. Okay, minus your fees and your stuff and the 90 pound you're looking at a comfortable 250 pound an hour which is ridiculous you name me a job that you can make 250 pound an hour obviously it's going to take some time to sell some of that stuff but there's a lot of stuff that we picked up today which will literally fly out the door so thank you guys for watching you guys have absolutely been awesome the support has been phenomenal i love every single one of you you are incredible you're awesome you're awesome you're awesome i'll see you in the next one boom Oh,